Hey, welcome back. My name is Justin Greenewalt, and this is my side channel where I talk about things related to YouTube, gear that I'm interested in, and whatever else I feel like covering. Today, I'm going to be doing my review of Topaz Gigapixel AI. You can make your image larger, it upreses it, it reduces noise, and you can increase sharpness, reduce color bleed, and there's a face refinement thing there. Here's what it looks like before and after. I think that is incredible. This is doing a fantastic job. Now, it doesn't look this good if I use some of these other AI models, so you have to do some trial and error, but this does amazingly well. Now, something I've learned is that it doesn't do as well with faces. It can work with faces, but you know, faces are just hard and the human eye is very exact on what looks right and what doesn't, but with objects, it is amazing. Now, something I need to mention is that sometimes you'll have text that's very small and blurred out, and this will do its best to bring it back, but you can tell uh, there should be an R and a U and an M, and it, the information is lost, so it can't bring it back. It can just bring something back that kind of looks like text at a distance. Uh, so it, it isn't a miracle worker, but it practically is because I'm taking an image that looks really, really bad and then making it usable, and I think that is a pretty big deal. I've used this a lot in documentary style videos where you get photos from the early 2000s, from the early parts of the internet, very, very much helps with that. So this next photo is pretty bad, very, very compressed. It's like 300 pixels by something, something like that. And you can see that there's two faces here. His nose is completely gone. We'll see what this program can do. So it's updated and that's what it looks like. This photo is not something that you would wanna up res really because his face is completely gone right here. You can't see much. His eyes are, bar are barely there because it's so compressed. And so you have to know when to use this and when not to use this. So in this case, we got Alex Van Halen on the drum set. His face is a lot better. And this time, it really handles the face very, very well. So there are limits to what this program can do. It's AI. It doesn't know what looks good and what looks bad. It just does the best it can. But in this case, I think this is a usable image. So I bought Gigapixel as part of a Black Friday bundle. I got Gigapixel, Sharpen from Topaz, the Video One, and the Denoise. Gigapixel is the absolutely best one out of the bunch. Below that is Denoise AI. Below that is the Video One, and then below that is Sharpen. Yes, Gigapixel AI is definitely worth buying. I think it's good, and I'm very happy I have it. 